Right then, I've just had a little rest under that tree, a drink of water, repositioned my bag. It's just getting lighter by the moment. And we're on uh, um, it's another section now. It's um, quarter past three. And we're making our way right over to those trees there. And then we'll go down into the Warren. We're head down. It's still quite a way. It's, quite, it's a lovely night. I'm not even, day I mean, I'm not even worried by any of that. There's no pressure to rush for a bus um, or anything like that. Um, we're worried about the steering lock when we get there. <laughs> oh dear. I can put this around my neck again for a little while. I take it off. It does make my neck ache after a while. Hang him around your neck. Just taking a picture of the, where I had a rest in the shade. The only tree down through there. And I did need it actually. I did feel ready for another little rest. Um, and it's important to listen to your body. You know, very important. Now this is an area that the the animals obviously gather here. There's lots of hoof marks. Now, I haven't seen any of the horses, but it's very dry. So I think where they'll be is um, it's very dry. I think they're going to be near over there where there's a there is normally water, um, or where there's a trough, of course. Um, they might have put them back on Exmoor for a while, you never know, so they can enjoy the summer up there and enjoy the, the spring waters. They ain't got nothing like that up here. I suspect they prefer Exmoor, I would, if I was a pony. But it is nice up here, but it's wilder on Exmoor, isn't it? And there's lots of like streams and stuff. But they might still be up here. Like I said, I can't see them anywhere. Getting further and further away from the trig point now. And I'm really, really enjoying the walk. I just love the fresh air. Yeah, we're talking about things. Yeah, I had to have the engineer from EE out. Yesterday was very efficient and a very, very clever young man. And he spent a lot of time talking to me, showing me stuff, putting things right. Because um, it was in, my whole computer went into what's called resilience mode. Now this morning I did hear there's been various cyber attacks uh, on um, things like the NHS and other places. There has been a cyber attack. Um, mine would only work on Wi-Fi, not cable, because I've had cable, I've gone over to cable, and uh, for some reason it wouldn't, it wasn't functioning, but he came in, he tweaked some bits and pieces and done this, that and the other, and he had a special machine with him, and uh, he tuned us back, yeah, he tuned us back. And he explained a lot to me, and he was very good. And I think I'd have him. I'd I'd asked for him. He's called Hugh. I'd ask for him personally if I have a trouble again, because he was so good and so patient and kind. And I don't know, he was so good. I think I haven't really had anyone that was so knowledgeable. And he, of course, he had a very knowledgeable father. We worked in um, the cyber world catching really nasty people, chucking them down and that. Look at that folks, look. I'm trying to see if I can see a horse or anything. Some people way back, they seem to have stopped, maybe someone's seen something they're taking a picture of or... Yeah, we were right up there earlier, right up there. Right back there, there's people in red and white, I can see. They're taking a different track. 
they're branching off, they're not coming this way. They're going to go down that like that, which is also a nice route. That will take you down through the route I took this morning. Um, I don't I don't like going back the same way. I'm going a different way. I will end up on part of the track the same though. After I've passed the pink cottage area, I will join up again on that um, Dolbury Warren section, only a small part of it. And then at the end, I'm not going to do exactly the same route. I'm going to do a walk through a little copse and then down the path towards the pub. I might even stop for a shandy, you know, but we're enjoying our walk. There's the last of those humps, look. Not protected because they were from the Second World War, but someone might say, well, we should protect them. They're, hip, they're part of our history. Right, I've just got to look for my path. Um, I'm sure where it is. We'll go down this way. I think it might be down here a bit more, further down here. I think. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's just up here. I usually go that way back to Cheddar. Do you know what? That breeze is so welcoming. And here's our path, look. See, if you got astray and went over there, you got in a bit of, well, usually a bog. But here's our path. I think this is it, yeah. We could take it anyway. There might be another one lower down. Oh, I can see, I can see a cow there, though. Oh, more cows. Now, is it that, is it that path, or is it further down? Might be further down there yet, uh, yet again. Wait a minute. Otherwise, I've got to pass cows. Might not be that one. Something just tells me it's a bit further down. We might still have to go into the cows, though. Oh, this, they're all over the place. You'll have to be brave, Sheila. Will I? Yeah. If not, we'll have to take a different route. The cows are there. I'm sure it's a bit further down, yeah. Might, might be. I can't remember now. I can't remember. Just along here somewhere, there's some trees. Yeah, they're near the boggy area. Brown cows. How oh, now, brown cow? I'm sure it's soon. There'll be a path. Those people are catching me up over there. That's probably why they've come this way, because they'll join up. Yeah, that's the one that joins up with this path. I wanted to come down that one, though. That's like the traditional route. I mean, if I get too scared, I can just carry on down here down what's called, what I call, the parade. <sighs> Bristol Airport straight over there. And here's our other path, which at the moment, I think it's this one. Maybe it's slightly more down? Yeah, I can see somebody walking on it. Yeah, it's more down than you thought, Sheila. Isn't it? Remember, you used to have to walk up that way. It's a good job you never decided to walk. Your first instinct was to go straight onto another track for, across this one, and I think, no, you never do that. What you do, you walk up near these trees here. I can see, you can see the path now. Little trees, I remember them. Reference points, and the cows are further up by the wet area. Right, over and out again. All right, so Sheila, under the shade of a lovely tree, just having a bit more picnic before we head for the woods down there and a walk by the stream. It's a 
lovely day. I'm right on the top of the area of outstanding beauty. This tree was waiting for me. This lovely tree was waiting to say, stop here, she did for a while. You're allowed to have cake and cheese. Oh, thank you. I've been looking forward to this because it's all downhill now. No fear of indigestion so much. Lovely cheese, look. Mm. I this is lighter, it doesn't give you so much indigestion as cheddar. Plus, I've got... A nice bottle of juice for glucose. They're really good, these are. Just have a couple of these on a walk and three bottles of water, you've got plenty. I've got a whole bottle of water left. And it's not far back really now. We've done the hard work. And cake. Look, cake. Oh. Gorgeous. Of course I should be making a move because the cows are moving down towards the gate. I forgot about them. Lovely. They're up near a... The cows are up there near like a water place. And the horses normally hang about over there as well. I'll have that bit in a minute. we better get a move on. off again. And bag on. Use the waistband, it does help. The bag is nowhere near as heavy as it was. Check that you haven't left anything behind. And off we go. I had to charge up the Kodak, that's on charge now. This one, they both got 30 gigabytes of memory. Um, this one might need a battery charge in a minute. I haven't used it as much as I do sometimes though. I have had quite a long break sometimes with it, especially going up hills. So, off we go. We're going to get through our gate now and into the woods. Into Roebarrow Warren. Into the forest. The big cows are up there. I'm glad I remembered to walk further down. I would have walked straight into them. They're probably okay, but like I say, I never take risks. They're up there. There's a big swallet up there. A watering place. And even the horses tend to stay over that side more. I think there might even be a trough. Bye tree, thanks for shade. There'll be lots of shade in here. And then we'll make up, I'll have a lovely walk now through the wood. Wood I know quite well. And then we'll head down for the stream. And we'll walk all the way along the stream till we get to the pink cottage. Then we'll walk along through the, the, um, some, by the big tall pine trees. And then we'll rejoin the track we passed several hours ago. You know, round about oh, 11 or 12, half, no, half 11, 12 this morning. We, we'll be coming out and doing a little bit. It's just a short section then. Hi, by Dolbury Warren, and um, 
and then we're back. I might, I might, if, if this goes off, I think this is going to go off. I've got to change. I've got to get take my bag off again. Battery's nearly dead. Right, hold on.